Hello and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker. Today we're going to be looking at a 3D printed squonk um, mod and I don't often look at the 3D printed mods just because there's a lot of them that are the same but if something's significantly different enough or I think it's really great value or whatever else I'm more than happy to show you. Now obviously we looked at one not so long ago and that was great. I really really did like that one but this one is coming in a little bit under on that price range. So this is coming in between 90 and 100 pounds uh, in the UK from a company called Urban Vapor who uh, gave me this one to review. Now then, I do like this. I think there are some strong uh, design choices to it and uh, I think for the money I think you get quite a bang for your buck although that may not be the right terminology when we look at mods. Anyway, before I get myself into any more trouble, let's dive down up close and have a little look around the Beehive um, BF Squonk Box. Let's do that then, shall we? Come on. Alrighty then, so here we are with the 3D printed box for the Beehive BF mod from Makeart, Makerart, 3D Makeart. I'll pop the links all down below so you can see those. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a fairly simple box. It's kind of nice that they've gone to the extra expense of 3D printing the box that it comes in, to be honest. I think that's quite a nice little thing. It's not there. It's not kind of a, a super smooth 3D print. It looks like they might have used a... Uh, might have used a wooden filament or whatever going on in there but uh, no i kind of like it it's uh, for what it is it's a box it doesn't have to be mega posh i like it i think it's cool now then if we take this top out you can see the mod itself and uh, because it's called the beehive obviously we have this kind of honeycomb effect going on there if you're old and british then you might remember the the blockbusters tv program this totally reminds me of that anyway um but uh, the outside of the mod fairly simple and straightforward now i believe that uh, these side panels are exchangeable but i haven't been able to get this back one out of mine i've been able to get a little bit of movement but not been able to get it out altogether but uh, on the top there we do have have a mod maker 510 and we are also going to be using a mod maker bottle in there as well now then what I'm going to do is just put my uh, my focus on fixed just to stop it going out because of the coloring and hopefully we'll be able to see things a little bit clearer now so yeah the print quality on the outside of the box is actually very very good it's very very smooth yes you can see some lines going on in there but it's very very smoothly finished which i think is great for a 3d printed box it's almost got kind of a, a satiny feel going on which i think is very very nice indeed now then the door is friction fit it doesn't have magnets now um, i was concerned about how this was going to wear over time it's not done anything negative it's not got loose or anything since i've been using it um, since vape fest um, but uh, that is something just to be aware of like i said I, I haven't got any proof to say that this is going to go looser but uh, i do want to make you aware of that for the future now then the internals on this are nice and clean now we do have silver contacts a very high rating of silver as well i think that's 95 percent. i think silver um which is very very high and higher than some sort of the of cheat of the the cheaper sort of silver jewelry type stuff apparently um now then we do have the battery orientation of the plus and the minus there now obviously the minus is at the top here because that's hitting this plate which does have a dimple cut out of it and that goes to the negative portion of the 510 so that will be the negative portion of your atomizer now then the uh, the positive obviously comes through the uh, the base here it's got this silver strip runs through here which is held back with another 3d printed sort of strip that goes on the inside there so that stops the uh, the, the, the 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 silver from being too wobbly and it also because it comes up nice and high it keeps a certain level of tension on top of the uh, button itself which i think is great now then once you do press the button you are making contact with with the positive aspect of the mod maker 510 but one of the nice things that they are including with this is one of these little locks so you can spin this around like so and now i'm the button is locked that's going absolutely nowhere let me zoom in on that and see if you can see that a little bit better um so we've got this black lock going on here i can just pull that around again like so that allows me to have full contact the contact is making contact with the 510 if I pull that back 
that makes that impossible, which is great. It's a nice little simple way of locking your mod and a really, really good idea. Now, like I said, the uh, the bottle is a mod, mic, mod maker bottle, so nice and squishy and, uh, and very comfortable, but not too squishy so you don't over squonk too easily. But uh, that's about it. There's nothing really else I can tell you about that. It's super simple on the internals. They work and they look pretty reasonable as well particularly for this price point right let me get this uh, get this uh, pulse 24 mil rda on the top of here just to show you that once you do get a 24 mil rda on the top there you do have it sitting nice and comfortably on the top of the mod that being said let's go up top and we can have a vape so that was the tour around the little beehive squonker, which I think is pretty darn sweet. I really, really do. And actually, by the way, since then, I have found that to remove the uh, remove that back door, there is actually a little tiny dinky little kind of purposeful hole in the corner there. So you pop something in there and then you can just leave out the door and away you go. Now, Urban Vapor that gave me this one to review also do sell the interchangeable doors as well. And they are, I think they're about 12 pounds to change them into different colors. So uh, I think that's, uh, that's, that's pretty darn reasonable if you do want to uh, swap your uh, colors around pretty free, pretty, pretty pretty <laughs> ah, pretty easily now then um let's have a little look at this have a, actually let's have a little squonk first shall we let's have a little vape as always it's a uh, mechanical squonker that works really really well it's nice and powerful those silver contacts work really really nicely i actually kind of was unsure about those silver contacts to start with so i got in touch with the manufacturers to find out what level of silver it was so to find out that it was at 95 percent and the other five percent being copper um I, I was actually pretty surprised by that because it is pretty damn sweet now then if i look at the things that i'm maybe not so much a fan of off. Now, um, there's only two things that really spring to mind. One of which is the fact that it's a friction fit door. Now, like I say, it's not something I've had an issue with and uh, it may continue to be perfectly fine and dandy. And I've had this door on and off a lot over the times since uh, since I've been using it since Vapefest. However, um, the other thing, which once again is a dead easy fix, to be honest with you, this isn't challenging at all, but it's just something to be aware of, is those battery contacts can end up working their way loose. So um, because there's no pull, unless you pop a little bit of tape around your battery, there's no easy way to pull it out. You do have to bang the uh, bang the mod on your hand to be able to get the battery out. And I have found that that has left the contacts to be a little bit weaker. So, you know, getting the battery in and out is, is very, very easy, but uh, it will come out a little bit easier as well. Now, I know that I can pop a little screwdriver under that contact, just give it a little bit of a nudge and it will come up and make perfect contact every single single time but I did want to show you that, uh, that that does go over time now then the things I like about this, I really like the price point. I think for £100, or they're, they're between £90 and £100 on the uh, Urban Vapor, I'll leave the links down below, but on the Urban Vapor website. And uh, for that money, to get this sort of decent quality print, um, and also to get something with the ModMaker 510 that's flush, which is very, very important. Um, the flush 510 in there to get the ModMaker bottle, to get the silver contacts, and to have the option of being being able to change out your doors and stuff I think that's pretty damn good to be honest with you I think that's a pretty good bargain um, and uh, and for that I'm very very impressed to be honest with you and it's also nice to see that there's a company that has made some intelligent design choices that's not kind of gone too crazy with the money you know and especially kind of over here in the UK at the moment there's quite a number in that kind of 130 to 160 price range um, so to come in at that hundred pound mark then you know bang on it's a decent little squonker absolutely so all in all I think it's a pretty good value for money little box now obviously it is going to be a mechanical so you do have to be aware of your battery safety and um, ohms law and all that sort of good stuff but uh, as long as you're up to speed with that 
it's is it the smallest it's possibly not the smallest the honeycomb thing on the outside means that you obviously feel them in your hands so if you don't like that kind of thing then you don't like that kind of thing it's not really a great deal i can do about that i suppose you could sand them down but uh no it's it's you know it's a you could think of it as a grip thing um because it accommodates 24s nice and easily then it is a little bit wider than some uh some of the 18650 squonk boxes out there at the moment but uh, no all in all i think it's, this is if you're thinking about getting into mechanical squonkers but don't want to go over that hundred pound mark then uh, this one is certainly something that you can think about and that's about all i can say about it it's a simple simple product and uh, and it does just work that being said i will leave my uh, subscription thing down there and i'll put the video there and one up there as well and hopefully i will see you very very soon have it large